Franz Marsen, a very uh, difficult day today, two times over the summit of the Wollonga climb and second time round things didn't work out. No, we tried to to stay with uh, Graham in the, in the group with uh, the leader, but uh, unfortunately he had a gap of uh, maybe 100 metres at the top and uh, they didn't close it anymore. So, well, quite a disappointment because it uh, was, was really close. And, uh, yeah, but we tried and give everything and then uh, you can't uh, can blame uh, yourself. OK, so just tell us a bit more about uh, coming over the top of the hill the second time and what was happening at that point with the race. Yeah, of course there was the, the attack from the big riders. You knew uh, that, uh, that Evans and uh, the Cas de Panier guys, that they were very motivated and this is also a good climb for them and uh, they, were, they would attack there. But that was not a problem for us because uh, we had to stay with, uh, with the sprinters and uh, that was the problem. Uh, Graham couldn't, uh, couldn't uh, hold up with uh, Rifle and uh, McEwen, I think, and uh, that was the problem today. So we, we tried and to give everything. Uh, we were now in a position that only Graham was in the classement, and then uh, you have to try. Uh, I, uh, I asked uh, Coach Murnard, who was in the first group, to wait. Uh, maybe after, after the finish you could say uh, it was better to, to let him in the front, but OK, that's, that things uh, happen. And, uh, yeah, we tried and uh, it didn't work out today. It was always going to be a difficult assignment, just uh, describe it to us. Yeah, um, got over the first time uh, with the group, so that was a good sign, but the second time uh, they just rode a bit hard and oh, I could see them though just in, the, just in front of me, it was only about 100, 200 metres, so uh, it's, uh, I'm getting better every year, so uh, you know, it's a lot better than it was last year and about 10 times better than the year before, so maybe next year I can uh, stay with the group. Twice. The challenge, I suppose, is to put all that behind you and concentrate on tomorrow because tomorrow you are a, a really strong chance. Firstly, just tell me mentally how you go about that. This must be difficult dealing with, you know, it's, it's a, the sort of loss you don't like and then you've got to pick yourself up again for a big day tomorrow. Uh, well, mentally it's not that big a deal, to be honest. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not a GC rider, a classification rider, so, you know, this was just, uh, you know, I'll maybe anyway. Um, so, yeah. Um, I'm a sprinter and today's uh, to tomorrow's the stage for me. King William Street uh, in the centre of Adelaide, uh, a sprint that suits you, a course that really suits you. Just describe it to us. Yeah, I've won there before a few years ago, so um, you know there's a little hill in it. It's, it's more or less just a big criterium, so uh, it suits me pretty good. It's a slightly uphill finish, which uh, which I like as well. And, uh, you know, uh, I, I was third there last year. I probably could have won, but. Uh, yeah, I've got a good record on that circuit, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. And lastly, will today have taken that much out of you trying to, to hang on and uh, catch up to those guys, or do you think you'll be able to recover OK overnight? No, I should be able to recover all right. I, I mean, it should have taken 100% out of me. <laughs> if it, and if it didn't, uh, I didn't try hard enough. But, uh, you know, it was hard for a lot of people today as well.